my name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that have been following us, you know that we build these really cool custom Cimarron trailers. And this is probably one of the most unique trailers that we've had here on this lot. So this is actually a trailer that we designed with the help of the company owner, Runamuck Transportation. Um, this is a commercial horse, horse hauling operation that is going to be taking this one home. So this head to head, it's a four horse head to head, but you've got a center box and you've got a front tack that also can double as another an additional stall area. Um, this, this head to head is really set up to have a lot of miles put on it. And the really cool thing about this trailer is we're actually going to do a series on it. So you can check back in in a couple months many miles later and we're going to see how this one holds up so the reason that we designed this trailer is on this commercially hauled unit uh, it sees more miles than probably any other horse trailer does that is used for personal use so this is a really great runaround for him he's going to be moving a lot of horses big horses small horses all around with this trailer and it needs to be able to hold up to the abuse he's got another one that's very similar to this. So we took a lot of the designs from that trailer and we upgraded some of the things that we found um, that makes this trailer have a little more longevity in it. So let's check it out. First thing you'll notice up here is this V-nose. It's getting a lot of miles, might need to get in and out of tight spaces. This V-nose will help with, with the fuel efficiency for your vehicle. It also increases your turn radius. So if you need to cut in a tighter space, it's going to be allow you to get a lot closer to the back of your truck without getting into your rear window. Um, and then also, it you can't feel these things when, when you're pulling them behind you. It just cuts through the wind so well, takes away a lot of that, that resistance that you get. So these, this V-nose was a must on this trailer. Right under here, you'll notice he's got his um, electric over hydraulic jack. They're hauling a lot of miles. The last thing they want to do is hand crank up a trailer. So that one's a nice little feature. On this trailer, it's got heavy duty wheels, tires, and axle on this. This trailer actually has 10K tandem air ride axles. We wanted to match that with some heavy duty 17.5 Continentals and some Alcoa wheels. So. The key here is longevity, and with a trailer that's getting as many miles put on it, we want to make sure that we've got really good running gear underneath these trailers. The air ride system right over here on the left, really easy to operate. We do these air ride systems on a lot of trailers. I wish every trailer was running down the road with these air ride systems. Simple as an on off switch and a raise and lower. And then you've got your bleed valve here where you can dump out any additional condensation. So not only did we do heavy duty wheels and tires and axles, we've also got electric over hydraulic disc brakes on this trailer. So he's gonna have more stopping power than just about anybody else on this size trailer. This trailer's only 30 feet on the floor. It's seven six wide, seven seven tall, but having really nice brakes on it is gonna ensure that all that precious cargo that he's hauling for other people are going to stay nice and safe. Those electric over hydraulic brakes, they've got a much cleaner, smoother, stronger grab than regular electric brakes. So another must have there. <clears throat> so as we work our way to the front here, as you look up and down the top rail and the bottom rail, you will notice that it has got a lot of lights, these transporters. They like to be really, really visible. If they're hauling in at all hours, the last thing they want is for somebody to not see them. So you've got top and bottom rail matching lights all the way down. You've got 16 inch awning lights over each side ramp so that if you're backing horses on or off or walking horses up and down these ramps, they're gonna be able to see where to put their feet. They're gonna be nice and safe. So as I mentioned before, this little area is pretty great because it not only is a great place to put a lot of tack, but if he needs to, he can all haul a smaller horse in this front little, little stall area. So we've made it very horse safe. 
you've got the Dale bars on this little drop down gate here. He can throw a lot of extra storage stuff up front without worrying about it sliding back. And then up above, you've got two roof vents. These Cimarrons come standard with these insulated FiberTech roofs, so these horses are going to stay cooler anyways. But we still need some airflow moving through here, so you've got the bus windows on either side and then these roof vents to get some air moving through. No horse wants to be all by themselves. This, um, at the very top kind of foot here, we did these uh, bars across the top so the, the horses can kind of know that there's other buddies right on the other side of this wall, as well as get some more air moving through there. This partition wall is not your standard partition wall that you have on horse trailers. It's actually got upgraded framing. So there's, a, a, there's actually posts that are running through here so that if a horse on the other side that's facing backwards leans against this wall, or this horse leans on this wall, you're not going to have any bowing there. Got your escape door on this side here. You can come in, make sure, grab stuff without having to put the ramp down. Something you'll notice is we did the heavy duty cam locks on these ramps here. So these are not your standard cam locks. All the moving parts on this, we really thought through kind of what needed to be upgraded on this trailer so that it lasts a long time. The owner of Renamak, he has hauled a lot of horses all over the country. And when you haul that many horses, you start to kind of figure out how it should be done. So he really, really knew exactly what he wanted upgraded on these trailers to make them last a long time. Something else that you'll notice on these Cimarron's, and this is something that has kind of come into play recently. You've got this, um, this bracing right here for the heavy duty bottom rail. It used to be kind of one piece. It didn't really match up kind of a flat aluminum and it now matches the extrusions, which is really cool. You've got a really, really nice, beautiful trailer and they were able to kind of keep the consistency going there. So in this stall area, this is where you're gonna see a lot of things that are a little bit different than our standard trailers. First thing is this gate right here. This is a really cool little design. If he's got a horse in the center box and he's got a transporter that's opening this escape door here, this, this man door, he doesn't wanna have a horse shooting out towards them. Even with a chest bar, this just makes it a little bit safer. So it's a full height. Um, door here that he can just open and close. It goes either direction. So in or out, he can kind of choose what he wants to do with that. So really kind of neat little design there. If he ever needs to, he can actually just take this piece all the way off. You've got these two big gates here that swing in. The really cool thing about these gates is you have the ability to change the different positions. So if you need to open that gate first, that's fine. This one will swing right over. And close right here. And you don't have to mess with anything. You just push them in and they, they latch into place nice and easy. But if he needs to switch the arrangement, he's got the ability to change it up a little. So it just gives him a lot of flexibility on how he can line up these gates. This makes it a lot more flush here. He needs to go to this other one. Just gives you a lot of, a lot of options there. So as we work our way in here, You'll notice that this is where you see a lot of different things happening. This is not our standard divider. This is what Renamuk kind of designed, desired for their divider here. So these plates you see here, these aluminum plates, he's actually gonna go and install his own heavy duty chest and butt bars. So next time you see this trailer in this video series, it's gonna have big chest bars that go across. 
but this is easy to move over. You've got these latches, these AR, AR latches here that you can collapse on each side. And then you've got these handles right here that you can actually pick this up and move it over to the secondary position against the wall here. That makes it so that he can have it as a box stall, but he can also use it as a four horse head to head when he's hauling more horses. So it just gives him a lot of flexibility. Um, everything's got a nice smooth surface for horses. So he's hauling other people's very expensive horses. He wants them to be incredibly safe. This right here is a really high quality heavy duty plastic. It's called UHMW. Um, it's incredibly strong, very easy to clean, easy to replace if he ever has to. So it's just kind of his own little spin on things. Once again, you've got a buffer of anywhere you might have a metal to metal contact. Keep it as a nice quiet ride for those horses. And then since this is a 10K air ride, you do have a little bit more wheel well than you would have on a standard trailer. But we think that with the amount of miles that he puts on this trailer, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna hold up really, really well. So this is just a really cool trailer for us to build because we love these Cimarron's and a lot of the hobby users like myself, we don't get to put on as many miles as somebody that's a commercial transporter like Runamuck. And if you guys have ever heard of Runamuck, you know that they're a really trusted name in the industry. Um, I'm sure that just about everywhere you go in the country, you hear of people that are getting their horses hauled by them. So we wanted to build a really high quality product. Like I said, he's already got his other one that he uses and there was some changes that we wanted to make to make the product even better. And that's what I love about Cimarron is that we can make those changes with them. We can redesign the things that maybe work for a hobby user like myself, but we need to upgrade for a commercial transporter like Runamuck. So this is gonna be a really cool series that we're gonna do on this trailer um, to kind of show you guys how it, how it kind of weathers over time. So let's continue after that little soapbox of kind of other things that we did for this trailer. This rear frame here is something that you don't usually see on these Cimarron's with as many miles as he puts on these trailers, we wanted to really bulk up the rear frame. So you've got all of this additional framing in here. It's really gonna help with keeping the back end of this trailer nice and strong. Also have an access panel for lights here because we have this additional frame. Um, we've got an access panel right there so that he can go and address any lighting issues that he has. Big rear ramp. And he likes to have the 50-50 doors on the rear so that if he's got a horse in this, in this stall here, he can just open one door and not have to worry about somebody flying back against those butt bars. A lot of it's safety in mind. And then on this rear ramp, we've actually got two different places that these ramps attach. So you've got one on each side Usually we just do the one securement attachment and that's fine for most people, but with as many miles as we get put on these trailers, we wanna make sure that the longevity of it, we, we ramp it up where we can. So having the two attachment points is gonna keep it a lot more secure against the back of the trailer. And you're gonna have less wear and tear over time. So on this side of the trailer, You'll notice that you've got the lights matching as well on here. We tried, we tried to uh, not use as many of these button lights as possible. Uh, he really likes this older style of this rectangular light. So Cimarron came through on that one. And then from the exterior, you can see these big bus windows we've got kind of all the way down. We do have the option to do drop down windows as well but he's a big fan of these bus windows. It's really easy to operate. No real chance of anything going wrong there. We've got the fold down step here on the other side of this front tack slash first stall here, area here. Seven six wide is not very wide. And because we, we, didn't, we ended up not doing 
running board, we just have this rocker panel on the bottom here. It's really important to have a little fold up step for access here on this escape door. And once again on this side, you've got the two big 16 inch awning lines as well. So I just want to say thank you again to Run Amuck for allowing us to video this trailer and videoing it during this series. So we, uh, we are excited to kind of see how this trailer shakes out over the next three months, six months, 12 months, so on and so forth. We think that having a trailer that gets as many miles as this helps us design those trailers for us hobby users so that we can have increased longevity for our personal trailers. If you're looking for a really great transporter, I think you guys should definitely check out Run Em Up Transportation. They haul their horses in high quality trailers and they really know what they're doing. So if you guys have any questions on this one or building a, a trailer kind of like it, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Guess we'll see you next time on this one. Have a great day.